So is it just me or are to-do and task management apps just terrible? Do you know how it goes? You end up with this list of tasks that after a month's time just keeps getting longer and longer. And there's like three or four that you're getting done per day, but the list just keeps growing longer and longer and out of control until you end up with this list of tasks that half of which you already did because you forgot they were even on the list to begin with. Should I add a date to this? Should I categorize this? Should I add this to a project? Should I label this? Should I add it to today? Should I schedule it out for later to review? I need to create a task just to manage my tasks. I just think the biggest problem is that most to-do and task management apps are terrible. So I've cycled through a ton of productivity software, everything from to-do lists to task management apps to project management apps, everything that's meant to help you kind of create lists of things that you need to do. However, no matter how many times I switch apps or I try something new or a variation or even just kind of creating my own with something like Notion, I always end up after about a month or two in the same place, which is that I have a massive list of tasks and there's always like three or four that I'm checking off each day and getting through, but I've just got this massive list, many of which are really important, but I never make any actual incremental progress on getting them done. And then if you're like me, maybe at some point you just kind of feel overwhelmed. You've got all of these tasks and you think to yourself, okay, well, these tasks at the bottom of the list are either really unimportant and at which case they probably don't even need to be on the list at all, or they're so old that they're no longer relevant to anything that you're working on. And so what you do is you go through and you start cleaning this list up until you realize you're 10, 15 minutes in. I just had to create a task to manage my tasks. Now, one of the reasons I think that this happens is because most productivity tools and apps aren't really geared to make you more productive. Instead, what they do is they say, okay, here's some dra drag and drop capabilities so that you can order your tasks however you want. You can categorize them, you can label them, you can add due dates to them, you can do all of these things, but there's no workflow, inherent workflow built into the productivity app to actually help you accomplish more. You're just kind of on your own. Here's your tasks, here's your categories, here's your projects, here's your spaces, here's your labels. They just throw all these tools at you and then you're just kind of on your own. Figure out how you're going to be more productive with all of this stuff. Now, when it comes to getting big projects or big goals done, it's a pretty simple process for how you do that. You keep a list of all of the different big projects or goals that you wanna get done. And then each day you take one or two small incremental tasks or steps that will move that process forward. The problem with most productivity apps these days is that they don't really have any way built in or inherent to help you do that. Let's say for example, you've got a big project, like a bigger project for me would be like a YouTube video, or it would be like a website that I'm building. Let's use the example of a YouTube video. Now with most productivity apps, the way that you would handle that is you'd make a task and it would be labeled something like make YouTube video. The problem is that there's a series of steps that could expand over the course of several days to get that video or that project done. First, I have to create an outline, then I have to create a script, then I have to shoot the video, then I have to edit the video, then you have to prepare it for YouTube. So there's all these steps involved. Now, some productivity apps will provide you the ability to create subtasks, right? So under that, so you've got make YouTube video, then there's all these steps that you have to get done in order to complete that task. But if you're looking at, if you're looking at that on your front page of your productivity app, it's just kind of a waste of space and overwhelming. Why would I want to see steps one through seven to get this project done when all I need to see before me this day is write script or write the outline for this video. So ideally what you would want is you would want to see a list of the projects that you wanna get done and then one item, one thing that you wanna focus on next to move that forward incrementally. So for me, let's say this brand new YouTube video that I wanna make. I don't need to know all the steps involved in getting that YouTube video done. All I need to know is the one next action I need to take to move it forward. So for me, it would say my great YouTube video and then the task under that project I'm trying to move forward would say create outline 
So I created a web app a little while back that kind of facilitated this idea where you're focusing on big projects and goals and what you need to do to move them forward. However, as I was using it more, I found that it, it was a little bit limited in its functionality. It wasn't quite robust enough to fulfill all the needs I needed in order for it to actually help me become more productive. And so I went from the web app that I made and started jumping around to a bunch of others, finding myself right back at square one where I was finding that nothing good out there really exists, or at least nothing that really helps me be more productive. So it turns out that the sentiment must have been the same that I had originally when I created Raiderist because with just posting a quick few small videos here on this YouTube channel, and then just sending out a few tweets. Over time, I had over 700 people sign up for Raiderist. So a lot of interest in the concept itself. So with that being said, and since I keep running into the same problem, I decided, you know what? Let's do a Raiderist 2.0. So at this stage, it's still at the very early steps of developing the UI and the interface and how it kind of looks and feels. But what I wanted to do today was just give you a little bit of a walkthrough so that you can kind of visualize what it is that I've been talking about and how maybe it can actually be a better, more productive alternative to a lot of the task and productivity apps that exist today. Okay, so here we are on the Raiderist dashboard or front page, and as you can see, it's got your radar. This is what you see when you first log in and as you start using the app. So I'll just kind of break it down piece by piece. And again, as I mentioned earlier, this is a work in progress. This is just a UI. There's no functionality built into this yet. It's just how it looks and how it feels. And even all the individual pages and views aren't built yet. But I just wanted to kind of show you the concept. So typically what you're going to find on most productivity apps, you can have a sidebar. Then in the middle, you're going to have all this, you know, list of tasks that maybe are due today or tomorrow, who knows what. But the difference with Raiderist is that it doesn't just show you a list of tasks, it shows you a project, and then it shows you maybe a category or a container, which we'll get to later, which contains that project if you want to. And then below that, it will show a single task, and that task will have a checkbox next to it where you can check it off. So what you see here is a list of, the, list of these little groups. Right now it's just showing three, but it could show five or maybe 10, probably not that many. That's a bit overwhelming for a single day, but the idea here is that it's going to show you first a category. So what's this for? This is for my business, creating a new website, and then the task, the next task that I need to get done to move this project forward. And it's gonna show, right now it's showing three, and then for the one that you're currently working on right now, it'll be in focus, it will show that item. And you'll be able to drag these around, so you'll be able to move and reorder which ones you wanna prioritize. So it's a lot less based upon like a due date, even though of course it can have a due date, it's more focused upon visually what you think you need to get done at that moment. It's more dynamic. You just get to see all the things that need to get done and then you reorder it. Then let's say you're while you're working on this website, for example, or this project that's in focus, you can click this plus button and it's gonna take you to where you can create a new task that then just gets added to that project. You can drag it to the beginning where it'll show up you know, here first, but you know, if you need to, you could add tasks to it while you're working on it. The key here is focus. I don't have to see all the tasks that I need to get done in order to complete this website. I only need to know this next item on my list to move it forward. Then the way that this functionality is going to work is obviously within this project, you'll have a list of tasks that need to get done. But it's kind of like a Pez dispenser if you've ever used them before, in the sense that if I check this off, it doesn't hide it. What it does is it shows the next task on the list that needs to get done. So I click this and then the next task will just pop right down here below. And then what it's gonna do is it's going to move this to the bottom of the stack. So if I check this off, this is going to move to the bottom of the stack. This is gonna move up and then you're gonna see, okay, well, here's the next item that I need to get done. And you can move it back to the top if you wanna keep working on it, or you'll be able to change in the settings. But that's the general idea. We're focusing upon tiny incremental steps that move us towards getting more things done. My plan eventually is to work in some reporting so you can see at the end of the day how much you got done so that you can get a feeling of accomplishment as you go through your task list. The next little section on the front page is things that need to be sorted. So if you go up here, we'll, we'll take a look at it in a second, but if you just real quick, I remember, oh yeah, I need to call Bill and click up here, create a new task, and then it automatically gets added to this now or later stack. And this now or later section is essentially there to 
as kind of your inbox, things that need to be sorted. So you can just check them off and do them if you want to, but the ideal purpose of these is that you toss things in here and then you sort them later in terms of priority or project or where they're relevant. Then let's say that you've completed all the tasks that you have available for the new website theme, for example, for this project. If I were to check this off, I've completed that task. Now I have no tasks left. So what's gonna happen is it's going to disappear off your radar and it's gonna pop down here to awaiting next action, which could mean maybe I'm waiting for the client to get back to me or there's something else that I need to do in order to move that project forward. So it's gonna show up in this list and I've got two options. I can either archive it or I can click to add a new task. So this is another thing that you can, it's still kind of on your radar. So you know the project is there, but it's awaiting a next action. It needs either to be completed, you're done with the project, or it needs a next action. So again, I click archive, it would be archived, or I click plus, add a task, and then it pops back up into my radar to do that next task. One of the other things is that I wanted to make the navigation very simple. So it's just, you click on the logo to be able to see your radar. If you wanna see a list of all your projects, you'll be able to see those and you can also drag to rearrange those. Again, none of that functionality works yet because this is very early stages. You'll be able to click in to view those. You'll be able to see those broken down uh, by spaces, which is another way to organize things. So within a project, you have tasks, but within a space, so you've got your radar, your projects, your space is a way to contain your projects. For it to click on that, the view hasn't been built yet, but that's just a way to be able to contain those. So here's a project or here's a, a space. It's essentially just kind of a folder or a container for all of those projects. So if you've got things that you wanna do for your home, for, you know, at home or personal, and then for work, and then your hobby, you can break those down into spaces and you can create projects within that space. We've got some other pretty standard things, just like an archive. So once you complete something, you can either restore it or delete it if you don't want it anymore. And it's broken down by projects, tasks, and spaces. Same thing for the trash pretty basic. This is just going to show things that you've tossed in the trash and you can either restore them or there'll be a button here eventually that allows you to empty the trash. And then of course there'll be a search feature which will list out all of the items broken down by projects, tasks, and spaces again. And then there's the functionality to be able to create something. And this is very clean and easy to be able to view and find your way through to create a new task, a new project, or a new space. So if you were to create a new task, you'll see that, give it a title, then you can assign it to a project if you want to. And this is probably one of the most exciting things that I've got built in here and it's kind of in progress still, but it's a very robust text editor. And part of why I'm really excited about this is this is actually going to, for the most part, probably replace Bear for me. So all of the notes that I find myself constantly writing and typing out, I'm going to turn into tasks within Raiderist because as you'll be able to see, it's quite the robust editing experience. So you'll be able to go in here and you know, you'll be able to create, you know, block quotes, be able to create headings, be able to go in and create outlines because of nice bulleted lists. So things like this, and it's be able to do links. So if you want to create links of uh, lists of items, you're able to do that and it'll save. And it's very easy to work with, very clean. And there's still some UI improvements I'm going to be making to this to make it even better. Yeah, you can undo, redo. So very clean, very simple, but a nice clean, easy to read, easy to format writing experience as well. And then you're just going to click make it so and it's going to create the task. Projects are pretty similar, but again, you're just going to give it a, t a title or a name and then you're going to apply it to a space if you want or just leave it at the default. And then the same editor is going to be here. You're able to go through and do any editing or any changes that you want to make to that text there. And then the last one, of course, is just a space. This is just going to be a container for the projects. Uh, so if you want a way to be able to organize and categorize your various projects. So as you can see, it's just a way to help you incrementally move things forward in an organized way that doesn't have you overwhelmed or burdened with a ton of tasks that you don't need to worry about or focus on at the moment. Okay, so that's pretty much it. 
If you would like to be notified once I actually have a beta up and running that you're welcome to test out, first of all, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel because of course I will be posting videos about it here. But also if you'd like to be one of the first who finds out, you're gonna be able to do that by being signed up for my newsletter. So this is where I regularly just send out notifications for new videos. And anytime I create a new web app or tool or resource for creators or professionals, I always send that out to my email list first. So scroll on down, link in the description if you would like to sign up for the free newsletter. Now, part of me creating this was just kind of out of our frustration with many of the web apps and tools that I have been using and cycling through over the last several years. So more than likely, you're probably in the same boat as me, where you're cycling through project management or task management or productivity apps of any kind. And maybe there's things that you really like about them and maybe there's things that you don't like about them. So feel free to leave me a comment. Let me know which ones that you're using, which features you like, what features you don't like, what things help you be more productive, those types of things. Feel free to leave me a comment and I'm going to take those things into consideration as in building Raiderist because it's not only is it something that I want to help me, but I want it to help you as well. I want it to be a tool that helps everyone just get more done. So as always, if you found this video useful or interesting, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're not already, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.